Good afternoon, everybody. Elgin here, EXP Realty from the Elgin and Paul Walker team. Uh, in different masterminds, different discussions uh, with some high-level thinkers and some high-level uh, producing real estate agents. And there's quite a few different opinions on where our market is uh, headed. And a lot of it also depends upon what market it is, you know, meaning that although or there's a macro thing as far as real estate goes, there's also real estate is really localized. So what happens in uh, Southern California is different than Northern California. What happens in California is different than what happens in Idaho. And what happens in Idaho is different than Montana. You know what I'm saying? So um, you've got some macro things and then you've got local things that really spearhead the market. And there's a couple of macro events right now though that are having, if nothing else, a uh, psychological effect with consumers. And one that uh, I'm hearing that people have been discussing is just where we're at with the uh, conflict in the Middle East right now. Now, I know that it doesn't necessarily affect us here in immediately, but, you know, with what's going on, how that is uh, sounding like it is escalating uh, markets, real estate markets, stock markets, all of that types of stuff like stability, it likes stability. And, you know, one way or another, where they can predict where things go and that whole sort of thing. And a lot of that also affects consumer confidence. Uh, the other thing that we have going still is that the interest rates are higher than they've been. Now, granted, as I've always said during the majority part of, of my real estate career, the interest rates have generally been between 6 and 8%. But they've been so low for so long. And they've risen much faster to where they're at now than they have in previous times. That is definitely uh, starting to affect uh, the affordability because of the prices of the homes are also a lot higher than they were a few years back, right? So it is affecting the affordability, but we still have low inventory. We have low inventory, meaning that there's still more people looking to purchase right now than there are homes for sale. But I'll tell you what I'm seeing personally. What I'm seeing personally is particularly in the areas that, that I work, the homes that are say uh, uh, over a million are taking longer to sell. And you're just finding more adjustments in that range. Uh, the stuff that is say below 750, 800, 750, that stuff is still moving. Um, but in the last couple of weeks or so, we're just starting to see it slow down some. So we're seeing values hold but we are seeing the actual amount of sales down. So a couple of things that you know I'm encouraging as far as sellers go, make sure this is a market that you have to sell in. That is something that you really want to do because you need to price your home accordingly, not give it away, but to price it well, and understand that because of the affordability situations that you may run into some really great buyers that want to purchase your home, but they may need some assistance. They may need help in doing when they buy down. They may need help and buy down their interest rate so they can qualify and, and actually afford the home, things like that. There's some things that you uh, have to consider that you may have to do. So that being said, make sure that it is a market that you have to sell in. Buyers, I think it's a great opportunity for you to still get into the marketplace. Why? Because it is a tad bit slower. So you will have some opportunities. The biggest thing, buyers, right now that you need to remember is that it's not the price you pay or the interest rate you get. It is can you afford it on a monthly basis. If you can afford it on a monthly basis and it is uh, a piece of property that you and your family uh, can, can grow in, that you like and all of that, get in for that reason. You know, is there a strong possibility that at some point down the road, You'll probably be able to refinance it and get a lower payment. Of course there is, but that's not guaranteed. And since that's not guaranteed, you want to make sure that you can afford it monthly. All right. Thank you for listening to our update. We look forward to speaking to you again here in the future. Have a fantastic day from the Elgin and Pilar Walker team.